In this video, we'll be taking a look at one college basketball game happening on April 8, 2024, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game, so two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one college basketball game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Purdue vs. Connecticut, the NCAA championship game has arrived, featuring a showdown between two top-seeded teams, the Purdue Boilermakers and the Connecticut Huskies. Purdue aims for its inaugural NCAA championship victory, having advanced by defeating 11 seed NC State in the Final Four with a 63-50 victory, covering the nine-and-a-half point spread as favorites. Connecticut, seeking their sixth national title, hopes to achieve back-to-back -back championships for the first time since the Florida Gators in 2007. A secured their spot by defeating Alabama 86-74, covering the 10-and-a-half point spread. Purdue's performance on Sato was lackluster, and a repeat in this game could lead to defeat. Against NC State, Purdue's defense was stellar, allowing only 50 points despite the 13-point loss. Zach Edishan with 20 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists, while Lance Jones contributed 14 points and 4 rebounds. Throughout the season, Purdue averaged 83 points while allowing 69 points per game on defense. Zach Eddy was outstanding with 25 points, shooting 62.5% from the field and 50% from beyond the arc. Eddie's passing skills will be crucial, especially in creating open three-point opportunities. In their recent game against Alabama, Connecticut demonstrated strong offensive prowess, tallying 86 points and securing a 14-point victory. Stefan Castle led the charge with 21 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. Connecticut boasts an average of 82 points per game while conceding 63 and a half points on defense. Tristan Newton averages 15 points per game, shooting 41.3% from the field. With five players averaging at least 11 points, Connecticut's balanced defense bodes well for their prospects. College basketball enthusiasts appreciate Cinderella's stories, but a showdown between the nation's top two teams is truly captivating. Purdue, underdogs only twice this season, emerged victorious in both encounters. Zach Eddy aims to conclude his remarkable college career with a standout performance. Although Connecticut possesses size, they lack depth. Eddie's offensive prowess could exploit this weakness, particularly if Connecticut's key player, Klingon, encounters foul trouble. Purdue's experienced guards, like Braden Smith, are poised for this high-stakes encounter. Even without scoring, Smith's playmaking, ball handling, and rebounding contribute significantly. Sharpshooters Jones and Lawyer add depth, capable of converting open three-pointers. Eddie has consistently scored 20 or more points in every tournament game, including a 40-point outburst against Tennessee. On paper, Connecticut may seem superior but the point spread appears excessive. Zach Eddy's dominance poses a challenge for most opponents, and this game will likely be no exception. Despite a subpar performance in the last game, Eddy still managed 20 points and 12 rebounds. With an average of 83 points per game this season, Purdue should have no trouble putting up points. Although Connecticut may win, the game is expected to be closely contested, making the Purdue Boilermakers to cover the spread as underdogs are full-game side pick. This matchup showcases two of college basketball's premier rim protectors, capable of limiting scoring opportunities. Analytics offer limited insights due to their offensive and defensive prowess. Connecticut has consistently trended towards unders during the NCAA tournament, conceding over 60 points only to Alabama. Purdue has mostly trended towards unders in the big dance, except for a high-scoring game against Utah State. Neither team plays at a high pace. Purdue ranks 211th in tempo, while Connecticut is even slower at 300. 28. Throughout the season, Purdue games have leaned towards overs, contrasting with Connecticut's unders. However, in their 10 tournament matchups, the over has hit only once. Connecticut thrives in a slow tempo, utilizing their top-ranked adjusted offense to control the pace. Slowing down the game could neutralize Eddie's impact. Purdue boasts a potent offense but prefers a deliberate tempo, indicative of a defensive battle. Recent defensive performances show Purdue tightening up, allowing an average of 67 and a half points in their last two games. Connecticut's offense of output fluctuates but often reaches the 70s or 80s. Considering these factors, a low-scoring affair is expected in the championship game, making under the projected total our full-game total pick. 
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.